Hello, this is Lata Brouwer and you are watching Violin Lounge TV. In this episode I'm answering a question from Steven and he asks me how to play soft without tensing up and getting a shaking bow. He writes, Hi Slata, thank you for all the videos on YouTube. They have been very helpful. I have a question that I was hoping you could help me with. I've recently been struggling with my bow hand in a very specific situation when I'm playing softly in a performance. For example, when I'm playing a piano or PP or PPP in an orchestra. I get a lot of tension in my bow hand the to the point where I'm afraid that I'll drop my bow. Um, well, dropping the bow is a fear that a lot of violinists have and sometimes it's just between your uh, ears and not uh, between your hand and your bow. Uh, and I will give a tip on that uh, later in this video. Uh, the tension gets so bad that my bow sometimes starts bouncing on the string, so that's bow shakes. However, once the piece goes to mezzo forte, forte or fortissimo, I finally feel that my bow hand can relax again and I regain my bow control. Do you have any ideas what root problem could be? I have a feeling it's my thumb or even my upper arm tension, but I haven't figured it out. Uh, well, uh, Stephen, thank you for your question. Um, there are a lot of causes that can um, uh, be the, the root cause of your problem and maybe it's a combination. I'll first go into the fear of dropping the bow. Uh, it's a problem that Kato Havas uh, describes in her book about stage fright. Um, and a lot of people seem to suffer uh, from it. And uh, the thing, uh, you, the exercise you can do is that you can stand uh, beside your bed or something, so you, your bow can have a soft land. Then you hold your bow uh, as you hold it normally while playing, and then you release uh, uh, the bow bit by bit. So you relax your hand more and more and more until the bow falls on your bed. Uh, you can do the same thing, uh, it's a bit safer for your bow perhaps, with a pencil. Uh, that's a tip. Uh, then you just grab a pencil and uh, you slowly release the tension in your hand until it drops. And uh, this exercise can, uh, I did, just did it in two seconds, but it should take a little bit longer than, uh, than that if you're doing the exercise, but the video would be too boring. Um, and uh, then you discover that your bow doesn't just drop out of your hand and certainly if your hand is tensed up then the bow doesn't have a chance of falling out of your hand so don't be afraid of that do that exercise so you discover uh, when can the bow fall and uh, well in most cases it doesn't it, it only falls when you completely relax your hand and in this situation I think you didn't completely relax your hand so you don't need to worry about uh, that um, well, you ha have a feeling that it's your thumb. Well, it's uh, very important that your thumb in your bow hold is not locked. Uh, so your bow uh, hold must be a spring system. And uh, your uh, thumb is one of the little springs that has to move along with the movement of the bow a little bit. If you don't do that, then uh, uh, your bowing isn't that smooth and then you can get bow shakes. And also the ball of your thumb will tense up uh, quite a bit when you hold your thumb like, like this instead of that it's uh, nice and uh, flexible. Um, so you might want to look at that, uh, also for the other viewers of course. Then you say something about your upper arm tension. Well, uh, if you have tension in your shoulder or upper arm, you certainly can get some bow shakes. Uh, so you might want to do some exercises that you do long bow strokes and that you really uh, uh, take care that your shoulder is low and that your arm is relaxed and your arm must feel a little bit heavy. And that's something that certainly under the stress of a performance and certainly in playing soft, so playing piano, uh, that can be a little bit harder. Then there is something that a lot of people do when playing soft and that is that they play too soft. Well, if uh, it was the meaning of the composer that you wouldn't be hurt, <laughs> then he would uh, write down a couple of rests or something. Uh, so if you're playing soft, still make a sound. Some people play uh, soft like, like, like this and then your bow starts shaking because you're not really letting it rest on the string. While this is also soft. Um, but it's less shaky, so you should always have 
and a, a, a beautiful tone with the, with the core. Uh, it, and that shouldn't be loud. If a tone has some core to it, uh, then, then it doesn't mean that it's loud. You can still play soft, uh, but don't uh, kind of wipe over your strings or something. It doesn't sound beautiful and it also doesn't help your, uh, your bow shakes. So mainly uh, take care that you relax uh, your bow hold, the exercise I just gave is very helpful for that. And that you move your fingers, that your fingers move along with the bow movement and that the fingers are flexible and the spring system and relax your uh, shoulder and your upper arm. And also don't play too soft. Uh, if you're in an orchestra, you mainly hear yourself because your instrument is right under your ear and the other instruments aren't, but uh, if you're playing soft, it sounds a lot softer if you are in the place of the conductor. So Stephen, I hope this video is helpful to you and please let me know in the comments uh, if the tips work for you and if so, uh, which one or which ones. Uh, thank you all for watching Violin Lounge TV. I've published over 200 free video tutorials on the violin at www.violinlounge.com. So I hope to see you there. Bye bye.